Medang's Pacific Marine Industrial Zone, once completed, will have nine canneries operating at Vidar. Once the nine canneries are in operation, Papua New Guinea's tuna export value will jump by 50% from 200 million kina to 400 million kina. To ensure that this happens, the Papua New Guinean government has plans to pass a series of laws to ensure that Papua New Guinea's economy benefits from tuna processed on the nine canneries in Medang. But the country's deputy opposition leader, Sam Basil, says the national government mustn't make grand announcements and not make it happen. Any legislation that comes on the floor to ban export of raw tuna, we will support. PNG's Fisheries Minister Mao Zeming made the policy announcements on Tuesday at the PMIZ launching in Medang. Starting next year, this government will introduce a policy that fishing companies that fish in our internal archipelago waters shall process 100% of their catches in PNG. We will also reintroduce or reinforce a policy of no mother ship trans transshipment in our exclusive economic zone. This isn't the first time a key state minister has made an announcement to ban export of raw material from Papua New Guinea. An impending ban on the export of round logs from PNG still has to be passed on the floor of parliament. The country's prime minister, Peter O'Neill, says the government wants to create jobs for the people as the economy changes and expands. We want to uh, encourage industries uh, to get in the PMIZ area so that we can give them some concessions so they can build factories and build uh, uh, employment opportunities for our people. Only time will tell if the Papua New Guinea government will stay true to its word and pass the laws on the floor of parliament to ban the export of tuna and ensure that Papua New Guinea's economy benefits enough to pay back the 200 million kina concessional loan from China's Exim Bank taken initially to build the Pacific Marine Industrial Zone. Bethany Hariman, National MTV News, Leigh.